Hello, everybody. Um, I am still sick with a cold. It's it's been a week since Falcon left. It this occurred to us a couple of couple of days ago, a couple of evenings ago, and it shocked us both horribly because it felt like weeks and weeks and weeks. But we realized it had not even been a week yet. Well, now it has officially been a week since he left. And although I'm not breaking down in tears constantly like I was, I still miss the pudding out of him. <sighs> it's terrible. Um, but he, he left me a parting gift, which was a horrible, horrible, horrible cold. I nursed him through his. It lasted him about three days, and then he was all right. He's still coughing. But mine is just wretched. I've been sitting here... Just chug a lugging Robitussin DM. I don't recommend it because it's overdosing. If you drink a whole bottle of this, it gives you a wicked buzz. So I've heard. I've never had a whole bottle, but every time I start coughing, I just chug some more. It's probably killing my brain cells, but at least I'm not coughing my head off. Anyway, um, you guys have been so good about leaving comments. I appreciate it. I've been trying. <laughs> Falcon is on me almost every day. Do you have more footage to put up? Did you get that video done? I'm like, oh, I'm sick. Leave me alone. But I've been trying to, you know, get them put up. And um, you guys have been leaving great comments. Sometimes he'll call me up or, you know, we're talking on Skype or whatever. And he'll read me the comments y'all have been leaving. And they're wonderful. And I'm sorry I haven't been commenting back much. But I've been all sick. I have a good excuse. At least he started um, leaving some comments back, which is great. He didn't used to do a whole lot of that. But um, now that he's directly involved in some of my videos, I think he knows that he needs to be leaving some comments back. Anyway, check it out. Ooh. You guys remember this stuff? I say this stuff. This stuff, the little tubes, this is one of my favorite things when I was a kid. Um, let's see, it was called like Super Fantastic Bubble Elastic or something like that. And when Falcon was here, we went to, I think he needed some Tums. Because, you know, I was feeding him southern food. <laughs> I fed him healthy food too, but, you know, it's part of the experience when a Yankee comes down here. I've got to take him out for fried pickles and stuff like that. And so, <laughs> he was needing some Tums. So we went to, um, actually I think the Sonic did it to him, but we went to the Family Dollar, Dollar General, one of those places. And he found his little fruit flavored Tums. And um, and I ended up with all kinds of stuff because I'm a child, obviously. We walked around together looking at things. And I had my arms full of, I don't remember what all I bought, but I remember when we got to the to the counter, he put down his Tums. It's all he had. And he looks at my stuff and looks at his own. And if you guys don't know, I'm 41. He's 23. Shocking, I know. But he's a curmudgeon, kind of. And, uh, and, and I'm a fool, it seems. So, you know, we kind of meet in the middle somewhere. But um, he looks at our stuff and he says, look at that. Here I am buying antacids, and you look at what you've got. You've got toys and candy and gum, and it was true. I did. I shared my candy and gum and toys with him, but um, and he did not share his fruit flavored tums. But that's okay. I hate those things. He did, however, share the cold with me. And at this point, although I thought it was kind of cute and semi-romantic for the first day or two, this thing has really been kicking my ass. And now I'm ready to jump on a plane and go return it to him. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit bitter about the fact that, that I'm still sick. But, yeah, this stuff, the super elastic bubble plastic or something. I just love this stuff. It's, ooh, my color changed. Oh, weird. I'm going to be getting a better cam. Someone's sending me a better cam. Hopefully there won't be a lot of that stuff going on anymore. But it comes in the little tubes in the package had. And I got it that day. Excuse me while I scratch my boob. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and, um, well, you know, when you itch, you gotta scratch. And this is one of the things I bought that day when I was buying all kinds of toys and gum and crap. And I used to love this stuff. It's got a wonderful odor. <laughs> he hates it. He's like, just don't blow it near me. I hate how it smells. 
And, um, I love it. I think I'm going to get high off of it, but I never do. And it has more, not so much a smell as a fume that comes off of it. But you take the little, this little straw thing and you kind of squeeze some of this out. I've used the, all of the other tubes and this is the tube that's glow in the dark, but it's very difficult to make it work right. You squeeze it out. My particular method is to kind of twizzle it around. I've started using that word twizzle a lot lately. I think I used to use it when I was a child and it's come back on me. I must be having like my third childhood, third or fourth. I don't think I ever grew up. I think that's the thing. Let's see if I can. There we go. <clears throat> now, I play with blobs of this stuff without being able to blow it up because there was another tube of the, the glow-in-the-dark stuff, which is very difficult to blow into the bubbles for some reason. It's got a different texture. It's thicker or drier or something. And, um, and I couldn't get it to blow into bubbles, but I just squirted it out and played with it for a long time. And then um, turned out the lights, and it really did glow in the dark. So I'm not sure about the bubbles. I'll have to check it out and see how dramatic it is. Probably not very. But when I was a child, I loved this stuff. But most of the time, I was I was turned down when I would ask to get some. My, my mom, because we, I know now as an adult, we lived on very, very little money. My dad worked at radio stations and made next to nothing. And, um, you know, we didn't have money for toys and crap like that. So I remember asking for this at the dime store and being told it was too expensive. So now I have to to spoil and pamper my my inner child. By buying her crap like this now. Uh-oh, there's a hole in it somewhere. Oh poo. I can feel the air coming out of it, but I can't see the hole. Anyway, so I had so much fun with this. Falcon was just he would just shake his head and chuckle because he's sitting there doing whatever he's doing. And I'm, wee, wee, <laughs> blowing bubbles. I had a big mound of them on the bed. And I'm batting them at him and like a three-year-old. And he just laughs and shakes his head. <laughs> I think he's going to be end up being my daddy and he'll buy me crap like this and sit and just watch me play with it and just shake his head and chuckle. was neat it shot right off of there anyway <clears throat> I'm just making an appearance I really don't have anything to say so maybe I'll make a video later about my continuing struggle to try to make granny squares crocheting is like one of the ugliest of the crafting arts <laughs> but I love the granny square quilts and I wanted to make myself one and I'm having nothing but trouble it's supposed to be very easy but is not. <laughs> Dang it. Either that or I'm just stupid. Could be either one. But, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, probably take some NyQuil and crawl back there in that bed right there and crash out. My pillowcases still smell like Falcon. I may not wash the sheets till he comes back. <laughs> Nasty. Okay, love you guys. Mwah. Thanks for the wonderful comments and all the support and all the good stuff. Oh, now you can see how spotty my skin is. I've got on no makeup.